Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the seven deadly sins with uh, today's 100 dragon challenge. So, uh, I think I did a poll in the last 100 dragon challenge, and I forgot to double check that on which dragon you guys voted to do next. So that's my bad, but today we're doing the wrath dragon. There are so many different ideas that I had with this one. I looked up obviously like the definition of wrath and that's just basically just being so malicious and angry and just saying like terrible and mean things to people. And I really clung to the idea of like just spitting out terrible and mean words and just being angry with your words with wrath. So with that, I thought, well, what if this dragon had basically a hot, tongue in a way, like just because it spits out anger and spits out fire. So I thought it would be really cool to make kind of a lava based dragon with this one. Um, the tongue is like this long, hot lava tongue since I'm thinking like anger, hot, angry words. And then um, I have some pockets going up its side, kind of showing like the lava that's going down its throat. And I just wanted this dragon to be a really hot red fiery dragon uh, just to show like anger and hatred and things like that. I, I really like the idea of just this bright red dragon since red is usually kind of shown as an angry color in terms of relating to character design and it was just an excuse to make a really cool red dragon because I, I think red dragons are probably the most classic of like the European dragon styles. So it was fun to be able to do a very classic red looking dragon, but adding some extra little spins and touches to my design. For example, I added some spines going up and down its back because I could imagine like when it's not like super angry, those spines are down. But then as soon as like that anger clicks on, all those spines like flare up and it just is like a really intense color change because I'm thinking about those spines being like yellows and oranges so then like if it's not there then all of a sudden BAM these big spines pop up these bright crazy things that's kind of what I was thinking in the thought process for that and I was just really excited to draw the cool tongue like just the really cool lava tongue I was thinking if it gets like shot out fast enough to uh, de like deal those hurtful hateful words it would just like basically erupt in lava like you'd probably get kind of like spit you'd probably get a bunch of just lava jumping off of its tongue and going everywhere and i was just really excited to basically capture that with this drawing i also did kind of more like devil like horns i thought it lended really well to the design in general like having this really intense reddish demonic like dragon with these curved devil horns that are kind of pointing forward i like that look and overall aesthetic and with that figured out it was time to jump in and do the final sketch so i wanted to make sure to show off as much of this dragon as i could and i wanted to put wings on this one especially like the not especially but basically the big wings where the two front toes are resting um at all times in the front like imagine it's crawling with its four legs but it also is crawling with the two wings at the same time so like the wings are taking steps at the same time as the four legs i just thought that was a really cool concept because i could just imagine this dragon being so angry and like running towards whoever it's angry at and you just hear this like really heavy like footsteps and just dun, 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 with like the big feet and the the ends of the wings I just it's just a really cool image to think about especially if this was like a video game monster or maybe like in an animated show and it was just running at the player or the main character I think this would be just such a cool one to animate and just bring to life in that way and of course I wanted it at full angry mode so I made sure to have its face like like in a full roar position to show off that really cool tongue. And I wanted to show as many details as I could. Obviously when you put wings in front of a body, you tend to lose that depending on what pose you choose. But I think this made him look very like big and intimidating to just have like the big wings and the broader chest and to show just like that angry pose. I just really loved it. 
I've been really enjoying the seven deadly sins of the dragons. There's a couple that I'm curious how I'm gonna, going to do them. I know all of them are possible in some way since there have been many a character designed based off the seven deadly sins, but now I just need to figure out how to translate those ideas to dragons. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I, I know, how, what number is this? I think this is the fourth deadly sin. So we've done gluttony, we've done uh, envy, we've done sloth, and now wrath, which leaves us with, oh God, off the top of my head. I, I, it's early in the morning and I'm trying to remember everything. Uh, pride and, wow, my brain is completely mush. Either way. I have three more to go, at least, unless I'm forgetting that I did another one on the channel, which I wouldn't be surprised with my memory. Sometimes it's like the memory of a bird. Sometimes I remember like the most obscure things, and other times I can't remember certain things in my life. But I think we have about three more left to go. And I think that's super exciting to have that like mini series within the series done. And I have a lot of suggestions for other kind of like mini ones within the Hunter Dragons like series. I won't reveal them yet because obviously I'd love to reveal them once they come up, but you guys have a lot of cool ideas. Like I've been really loving reading through all of your guys' comments and like the messages on Discord and on Twitter for the different dragon ideas. There's so many good ones and I can't wait to get to so many more in this series. And I've been getting a lot of questions of, am I gonna continue this after the 100? Because I know we're not even halfway. We're at like 42, I think this one is 42, yes? Maybe, I don't know, <laughs> off the top of my head. I think it's I think it's either 42 or 43. Um, but we're barely halfway and we have so much left to go, but it feels like it's going by so quickly. Like I'm gonna be at 100 before you know it and then bam, we're gonna be uh, wondering if we should do 100 more dragons. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. I'm gonna put a poll right here. Let me know, would you want me to continue this and make a hundred more dragons? Are you enjoying the series? For sure we're gonna make it to a hundred, but I was just curious if you'd like me to continue doing this. Like, um, if you guys wanna comment down below as well, if you guys like participating, do you enjoy drawing these dragons with me every week? Um, do you see yourself continuing this as we keep doing this series? Would you rather me do something else? Like, I'd love to hear your guys' comments down below. I personally am having a blast with the 100 Dragon Challenge. It's probably one of my more difficult videos to edit. It's not hard, it's just it takes more time than some of my other videos. Um, so I, I love putting time and effort into it and collecting your guys' entries, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you like and if you like the series or if there's another thing that you'd like to see me do. And with that whole long thing out of the way, it's time to jump in and do the Copic color. So like I said, I wanted hot, red, fiery colors. Um, so I got a couple of different oranges and reds and some yellows. And I realized I forgot, I feel I said it already in a previous episode, one of my yellows is really low. So I already ordered the refill for that. So I have two yellows on my Copics list here because as soon as that one basically run out, ran out, I had to switch yellows for the rest of the areas that were colored yellow. Um, so yeah, don't worry, I ordered my other my other color, but I really need to go through and start swatching my Copics and seeing which ones I have or which ones are like dying <laughs> and like probably switch them out. I've actually been looking into uh, trying out another marker brand. I've heard good things from Bailey about uh, the Blick Art Supplies uh, alcoholic markers, which are highly competitive to the Copic markers, but they're much more affordable and they're one of the few that also offer refills. So I'm thinking about trying those out. Um, if you guys have tried them, let me know in the comments below what you think of them. I really like my Copics, but they are kind of on the expensive side of markers. So for now, I'm gonna stick with the Copics I have and probably get refills of those Copics, but I think I might mix and match them with the Blick Supply ones. I'm gonna see how they go, but uh, it's hard. I'm so used to Copics and I'm afraid to try new ones and go spend money on new markers and see if they're good or not. But I, I think they'll still turn out okay. I'm just gonna have to try them out. Maybe just buy like two or three and see how I feel about them. I know that was a whole side tangent about markers, but these are the things you have to think about when you're uh, an art channel on a budget. <laughs> like what marker should I buy or what should I do? 
Speaking of on a budget, I know that's totally a random transition. I am officially open for commissions. So if you guys would like to help fund me get to uh, the different conventions I have this year and support the channel, I would love if you grabbed a commission. I think I have about two spots left. Uh, I think I've already reached my max of eight, but I just thought I'd arbitrarily open two more. Um, so if you guys would like to grab a spot and get a commission done of like your OC or like your D&D character and, or anything, make sure to go check out my Twitter or Instagram. I also posted, um, I think I also posted it on my Discord, so check out there as well. But just shoot me a message and we can figure out getting you all situated for a cool commission. So back to the dragon, I had a blast coloring him all these darker and brighter reds. I just thought it was super cool and I loved the different colors I was able to bring to this piece. In the recording though, it looks like I have like two of the very similar reds. Um, the plating on the front of its arms is more of an orange and then the body is a red. Like in this shot, it, you can see it a little bit better. Um, in person, the color differentiation is much better. Uh, but the camera, I think I just had the color saturation a little bit too high or something. I'm not sure exactly what I did with my camera settings, but it just didn't really want to pick up all of the different oranges and yellows and or oranges and reds in comparison. And here is where I started running out of my yellow ink. I started doing the wings and I got partway through the second one and I'm like, oh man, this poor thing is on its last leg of ink. So I let it rest for a bit as I went through and worked on the other reds and uh, I had to search for another yellow that was close enough, but I did find one, thank goodness I had another one that was pretty close. It's like another orangey red, not orangey red, or orangey yellow. Um, so that worked out. And then I really liked the idea of making the talons like dark and black, kind of like the edges of the horns. And I just really liked that look instead of having them white or yellow just those black talons were really cool and then i went through and added some more uh shading and then i added the uh, extra bits to the top of the spines with the bright yellow and red and I really like it. It kind of looks like a fiery spine. It reminds me of just, uh, it, it kind of reminds me of like a Pokemon spine. I don't know if, if there was one that looked like that, but it just gives me that feeling of like the Charizard fire. It's just like the yellow and the red and it just looks like a cool stream of fire going down its back. I really love that overall. And then I added some highlights with my white uh, gel pen and did a couple more hits of a darker color for the wings. I kind of wish I had an in-between yellow, but you know, I still, I still like it. I think this one turned out super cool. I love how the tongue turned out and just seeing like that vicious, like hot, angry <laughs> words being shot out by this dragon. Wow, I great on the description today. I just really like this one overall and I can't wait to see what you guys do for your wrath dragon as well. But let's go ahead and jump into last week's with the Ice Dragon. ADN and Normal, you, you like kill it every week. I am always so impressed with your dragons and this one especially, I love how thin and delicate those wings look, but it looks like it could totally work and how intense the icicles were all over your dragon and just the overall composition and look really beautiful piece. I love it so much. And Mighty Camera Eye, I really like yours. It was such a cool concept to make the wings kind of look like dead trees with the icicles on it. I just thought that was super cute and I really loved the whole design overall. And you guys killed it. Like there were so many ice dragon submissions. Like every week it kind of varies. I think it just depends on what time you guys have and if you're passionate about the prompt. But there was a lot this week. There was a ton of ice dragons. I really liked it. Some of you did like really cool icicles for big teeth or like had really cool ice wings. Lots of awesome designs. You guys killed it, and I love seeing these every week. So if you guys would like to post your Wrath Dragon, make sure to post it on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag KM100Dragons. I try to pick them every Thursday before the uh, next dragon comes out. It's been getting a little tight on time, so if you could submit them like Wednesday, early Thursday, that's like a guarantee for you to be able to get it in. 
So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week ranging from the 100 Dragon Challenge to some other like cool monster design videos. And I would love if you joined our little art community. And if you guys like this video, I'd love if you left a like down below and please feel free to share in the comments down below if you have an idea for another dragon design or your thoughts on some of the uh, upcoming dragons or what you think of the 100 dragon challenge overall. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.